So this is the second lesson in a series of lessons about database access optimization. And today we will talk about optimizing queries and how we can work with queries in the more optimal way. So here I have my administrator model. It has email and second name as char fields. It has colleagues, many to many field and main colleague foreign key. And I already prepared a database. I pop populated it with data. So let's check it out. So we have three objects. We have this object. Uh, so this is a email and this is a uh, second name. So we have one mail.com not main, two mail.com not main, and main mail.com main. And as you can see, in order to retrieve the all of the objects, I use this administrator objects all. And what we can do, uh, so what what it is, it is a query. It's already uh, a query that we provided to Django. And we can actually check out more information about this query using explain. And here we can see some infora information about the database operation, uh, how we actually uh, accessed, how we actually scanned uh, the table, uh, what are costs and things like that. So again, if you want to uh, kind of uh, see how your query works, you can uh, use this explain method. And of course you would need some database uh, knowledge. So knowledge about how databases work uh, to order in order to really understand this information. Let's start with imagining that we need to get this guy, this uh, kind of main administrator with the second name main and the email main mail.com. So we can get this object two ways. So one way is to do get second name equals main. It's okay. You can do that. And it will work because we have only one object with this second name. But it will not be that efficient because second name is second name field is not unique. And it's not indexed. But we also see that we have here the email field, which is indexed and unique. And basically, uh, if you know both second name and email, it's much better to actually uh, get the objects using the email field, which is indexed and unique. And basically, it will just um, kind of help us to retrieve this information much quicker. One more thing to discuss is uh, how we cache our objects. So we have here our main admin. Uh, this we have this object and we have just this string representation and basically if we call for example second name field of this uh, object first we will actually query it so here when we call the second name field we will um, perform the query but when we do it second time uh, this second name is already cached. So the first time uh, 
we retrieve the object. Uh, we don't really cache anything yet, but then uh, we actually uh, can cache it when we call when we call the field for the first time. We query this field, but then second time we uh, use the cached version. And again, cached version, cached version. So basically, that would be uh, quite important to know. Also, we have uh, we have colleagues of the main admin, and basically here we query all the colleagues and here when we do it again we again query all the colleagues and when we do it third time we query all the colleagues again so we don't actually cache colleagues anywhere and uh, because this is something that we call and this is something that we um, something that is not callable and basically if you have a attribute which is not callable we will cache it after the first querying and when we have the attribute which is callable then uh, we will not actually uh, cache it so we will always query it uh, over and over again every time so one more thing to know is that our main admin has uh, this main colleague attribute which is just one object and basically uh, now as you can see uh, when we call it we query it but we also uh, for example might know that we will uh, we will call it for sure and in this way so if you know that we will access this um, object this related object for sure later in the code what we can do is we can uh, pre-select that so so we say select select related main colleague And now and now when we call this guy we don't uh, kind of make any queries here we just use the pre-selected uh, related object already uh, already selected here and I guess uh, what else I can say is that if you have an option to filter objects uh, using the filter uh, you should do that and you should not uh, kind of select all of the objects and then filter them inside python code so uh, for example don't do something like administrator objects all and then so as you can see here we selected all all objects all administrator objects and then using the python code we actually iterated for them and then uh, we said you know if second name is uh, equals not main then we do something uh, this is uh, not really good approach because what we could do is uh, we could uh, filter here already by second name And here for A in Q. So this is basically the same code, uh, the same result 
we get the same results uh, as from this code but here we actually uh, don't load anything that we don't need from database we load only something that we will actually use and it is much better in terms of uh, optimization again uh, sometimes uh, we might have this situation when we need only uh, kind of part only one part of all the administration objects but sometimes we need all of them but so, so we, we we will need uh, different parts of administrator objects which uh, will be basically uh, which will sum up in uh, all of the objects for example we can have this So we have here uh, two parts of our uh, administrator, administrator list and basically we can see that here we have main, here we have not main and not main and basically we have these two parts which would sum up uh, in uh, basically the whole query set of administrators. And basically, instead of instead of doing uh, this stuff, we could just uh, get all of the guys, right? So our main, not main, and all. And you can see here that these two parts are actually you know if we if we combine them we would get uh, all of the objects so instead of kind of filtering two times we can just receive all the objects and use them in the code so it all really depends on your on what you should on what you want to do with your objects uh, sometimes if you need only one part uh, you should filter if we need uh, basically different parts of the administrator model but you will use all of the different parts uh, you might also uh, uh, make only one query set and then work with that so uh, I'm sorry if it's a little bit confusing but what I try to explain is that uh, you should actually you should actually think what part of the query set you will need and what you will not need and if, if, if you need everything if you need all the objects it's better to actually retrieve them all in one query set rather than in two query sets but if you need only one part of your model then uh, just filter and uh, you know not uh, don't load anything that you don't need so talking about uh, omitting things that, that you don't need, uh, you might uh, also specify the fields that you need when you define the query sets. So for example here, for example you need only uh, emails and if you need only emails we write values email. And we can see here that we receive the query set only with emails. All right, so we also might say we need email and second name. And then we only uh, derive email and second name from our uh, database. We also might specify uh, the values that we don't need and we use defer word here so for example we might not want second name 
and here it's working a little bit different if here we would just uh, kind of get the dictionaries of emails and second names here we here we would actually get a list of uh, actual administrator objects but uh, so here for example we have this first object and if we here trying to get the email of this object this is already cached uh, this is already selected but this for example it will take longer time to retrieve because we we didn't uh, retrieve it initially we actually specified that we might not need the second name field so you know just don't load it right now but then if you will need that uh, we will actually load it anyway it will take longer time but you know if, if you if you don't really if you are not really sure that you will need some kind of uh, field but you might need it so you don't really know you can just defer it using this method and it will not load automatically and it will kind of save your time uh, during the querying of all the objects but then then you can still access it, it but it it will take longer time and just one more thing to mention I guess the last thing that I will mention here is that our main admin has this main colleague and if we need to retrieve the ID of main colleague uh, we might do it like here like this but it's much better to use this command and it will be quicker and it will give less load on your database so i think i told you everything that i wanted to tell you about optimizing query sets and of course i might miss something so there are some things that i might just not remember or i don't even know about them so this is a very complicated topic and but I still hope that my lesson was useful to you.